Hello friends, welcome to my videos. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Flow and SharePoint to send automatic uh, work anniversary emails. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I regularly upload videos. And if you have any concern, any question, anything that comes in your mind, feel absolutely free to ask. All right, guys. So let's proceed. So guys, one of the common requirements in organizations is to send uh, work anniversary emails. Who doesn't want to uh, say thanks to their loyal employees? So uh, there are many ways to do it. Like uh, we have seen, like generally HRs get uh, this opportunity to send the emails to the employees based on their calendars. But what if if we can do it automatically and uh, without any manual intervention? This can uh, be done straight away. Well, this can be done using Microsoft Flow. I'm going to show you how. So the very first thing is to store the backend data. So you need to create one list like work anniversary. Put the employee names and their joining date because what we need is just the month and date, nothing else. Then comes uh, the flow. So first is a recurrence because this is something that needs to be run every day. You can set a time for this recurrence at what time you want to run based on your requirement it could be like 8 am 7 am 12 pm 4 pm even at 12 am also if you want to notify them right away then uh, from that sharepoint list where you have uh, stored the data you got to get all the items because you're going to process to each of them because you're going to process this flow to each of them you need to up, uh, put the action apply to each and this value corresponds to what you get from here so it's going to be applied to each value then in compose you got to take the joining data out of it so that from the each row that you pick from sharepoint list or i should say the each piece of data you got to get the joining data out of it now once you have the joining data out of it like for each joining date again you need to run it to really find out if it's their birthday uh, I, I mean to say the work anniversary I apologize so again you have a value here and this value corresponds to this action now this is very important contains string item so this item is corresponding to this value so the date that you have got the joining date you convert it to string now you compare it with another string the another string is time now date and month so whatever is today date and month so the date that you have picked from the list of the data compare it with today's day and month if the match is found that means yes this is an anniversary work anniversary day if yes you come here send the text the way you really want to and that's it it's gonna go straight away so that's how easy it is guys so i hope you like this video make sure to give it a like and comment and if you have any concern any question anything that comes in your mind Feel absolutely free to ask. Thank you guys.